Still in the news, the winners of this year's Facebook Community Accelerator program have been announced, and they include nine Nigerians. In total, 13 leaders from Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya will receive training and mentorship. They will also get up to $50,000 in funds to invest in an initiative that extends their community's positive impact. The winners include an advocate of the protection of children from sexual abuse, a founder of a community of natural hair lovers, and someone who helps uh, students prepare for UTME. They emerged out of more than 13,000 applicants who entered the competition. And one of the winners of the Facebook Community Accelerator program who is uh, joining us this afternoon is Peter Ogudoro. He runs a community for Nigerian teachers who aren't receiving good training from their employers. He's focused on helping them get the skills they need to make Nigeria's education system globally competitive, one teacher at a time. And of course, I will say good afternoon. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Ogudoro. It's Dr. Peter Ogudoro. It's my pleasure to join. And uh, congratulations, first of all. Uh, on your uh, uh, win. But first of all, tell us how the award started and what did you have to do to get recognized by Facebook? Well, um, it's um, an effort that took me about uh, close to five years now. Uh, I created that platform in 2016, uh, soon after I returned from the United Kingdom and several other countries around the world where I had gone to do research to gather knowledge on how to improve the education system in Africa. But when I made frustration in the hands of government officials here who prevented me from making that knowledge available, I decided to use a different platform to share my knowledge. And so Facebook took notice and have decided to give recognition to the effort that I have made. That's how we got to where we are. So it's a country that refuses to give um, um, recognition to its own, that um, America, um, you know, is, has a large heart, and they think that uh, we should not go unrecognized. Teachers uh, are critical for national development. Without us, you can't run classrooms that will make the difference that all of us have. Absolutely. Um, and let's now talk about, you know, it here in Africa and the teaching profession here in Africa. What, what does this award tell us about uh, teaching profession in Nigeria considering the figures from South Africa and other African countries? Well, uh, we must know that Afri uh, Nigeria, indeed, um, is a giant, but it's a giant that uh, has been sleeping for a very long time. But our people are fantastic. And so if you look at the lineup with respect to the number of people who got this year's award, of, uh, of the 13 people they selected from Africa, that, uh, nine of us came, came from Nigeria. And for me, particularly as a teacher, uh, it's, it's a recognition that I find, um, you know, very helpful because it's going to enable me to work with uh, relevant agencies of government and private sector organizations to improve pedagogy so that we can run better classrooms that will empower our children to become globally competitive. So that's probably the way I want to look at it. Um, we, are, we are wonderful people, but we live in a country where politicians are making life difficult for us. Okay, all right, two more questions. I want to ask also about uh, $50,000 in funds, which is uh, part of the story. Um, what are you going to be doing with um, these funds and what, what more invest, or where would you channel this um, um, uh, Facebook financing into? Well, uh, for my community, the major project that Facebook would be happy to see us do is a project that will involve me undertaking a learning tour of the Scandinavian region. And um, when I say Scandinavian region, I'm talking about Finland, Norway, uh, Sweden, Denmark, and Iceland. They run the best education system in the world. So by January, I'll be getting out of the country to understudy what they have done to get to where they are, and then bring that knowledge back home to improve the quality of teaching and learning that happens um, in the Nigerian space. That sounds very interesting. Final question. Um, what would you advise other teachers in you know, a pretty much similar level as you are uh, to start doing in order to maybe gain more recognition or improve on you know, their careers and their journeys through teaching? Yeah, it, it, improvement of their skill on a regular basis and an on ongoing basis, not stopping. Lifelong learning is the way to go. And even though we are not um, very much appreciated in our country, we must know that um, the contribution we are making is uh, a contribution that cannot ultimately go unrewarded. When I started doing this, I had no intention of 
easily to seek um, this kind of attention, recognition, or reward. But it has come. So anybody who does anything useful to society should know that one way or the other, uh, God will intervene, and um, the recognition and other benefits will come. We're extremely proud of you. Thank you very much for your work and for the uh, service you're giving to kids out there and to the education sector here in Nigeria. And of course, uh, looking forward to speaking with you when you're back from Finland or whichever country you choose. Uh, thanks once again Thank for joining us. Absolutely. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.